We have implemented a real-time dynamic scene viewer based on Fourier Planoctree. We can watch a sequence from free viewpoint and change the playing speed at the same time. Here are more of our results. Our method achieves rendering speed at 100 fps with 800 times 800 resolution, which is approximately 3000 times faster than the original nerf. We achieves high quality results for every frame with a 10 minute fine tuning without the need of a long time per scene training. Here are more of our results. Our approach generates high quality appearance results and even handles identities with rich textures and challenging motions. Recall that Nerf learns density and color of a 3D scene using a neural representation. As a variation of Nerf, Nerf SH learns density and SH coefficients, then compute view-dependent color by SH coefficients. Finally, Nerf SH can be converted to a plen octree for static scene real-time rendering. Unfortunately, both work cannot handle dynamic scenes. We present a new representation for EA Nerf SH for dynamic scenes. To be more specific, taking multi-view videos as input, an MLP can predict DFT coefficients for density and SH coefficients. Corresponding density and SH coefficients at time t can be recovered by IDFT. Similar to Nerf SH. View-dependent color can be calculated from SH coefficients. Furthermore, we can also convert it to a Fourier plen octree, which enables a real-time rendering ability of dynamic scenes. To boost training speed, a fusion-based scheme is applied to achieve a fast Fourier plen octree generation without the need of per scene training. To be more specific, taking multi-view videos as input, generalized NERF can predict view-dependent density and color for each 3D point with viewing direction at each timestamp. We can convert them to view independent density and SH coefficients by calculating expectations in different directions. Then they will be refined by plen octree fusion. Please see our paper for more details of it. Using the discrete Fourier transform we can calculate the DFT coefficients for density. The similar idea can be applied to calculate DFT coefficients for SH. Finally, we can save these two DFT coefficients in Fourier plen octree for real-time rendering. We compared out method with neural body, neural volumes, ST nerf and iButter and here are some qualitative results. Note that our approach achieves real-time nerf rendering of dynamic scenes without slow per scene training, with high realism. Quantitatively, our method gives the best performance in all the metrics, compared with all other approaches. We evaluated the Fourier dimensions, time of fine-tuning and the efficiencies of our 4D representation variants.